جاحظة يشير إليه بمجاهدة افتقار القيادة المناسبة في سامراء الفصل المخصص لكل من يتردد This must be Kong's crate of tea leaves. <laughs> Looks like this crate is still intact. Kong will be pleased. My leaves! Praise be to you, little finch! Where shall I put it? Come, come, put it here! <laughs> Basim delivers once again! Many thanks, little finch! Where are these from? India? No! This is all the way from China! Dali, my hometown, produces the best leaves! I also import leaves from India and even Persia. Moving up in the world, Kong. Kah first, then the world. I am now selling my goods at the Grand Auction. Have you heard of it? The Da'irat al-Mal. Yes, I am trying to get in. Why? What kind of business are you doing, little Finch? Why not share it with me? 
We worked so well together. The kind of business that could get you into big trouble. Do you think you can help me get into the auction? Ah, that is my besom. Always with the secrets. But do not play around, huh? Koch is much more dangerous now than before. The auction is very exclusive. It is not easy to get in. I can help you, little Finch. But first, I have a request. See there? Blocked! The guards are stopping everything that comes in from the road and river. It is as if they are taking orders from someone higher up. These days, they do not even accept my bribes. They must be looking for something. An object, or... Some stupid nonsense, I do not know. But they spoil my business, that I do know. Now, I just sell dumb leaf water. I hear that they keep the items in the Harbor Master's guarded warehouse, somewhere east of here. Let me guess. You want me to help you free your wares in exchange for entry into the auction. The warehouse is decorated with banners around some cranes. My items for entry into the auction. Sound like a good deal? Sounds like a deal. Hey you, Kong's friend. I may have something you would be interested in. Come closer. What can I do for you? Hmm. This is about what I can do for you. Did Kong ask you to enter a warehouse? Just say what you have to say. <laughs> that Kong is always trying his luck. Well, it's his lucky day because I happen to know where it is. All I need is something in return. Tell me what you know. Follow the road, cross the bridge on the right. You'll see the warehouse on your left, past the river. That narrows it down. Thank you. Where's the shirt from when you need them? What do you see, Enkidu? I need to get rid of these. Better keep a low profile.
Warehouse Kong mentioned. I need to find out more about this harbor master. Greece, India, anything else about that? If I want to keep my head, I better be sure to check them all. to search any and all foreign goods for an artifact. An ancient Chinese hairpin, specifically. This all starts at the harbor.
the Dair Mal. Ceramics, exotic wares, and rare goods. All on display. Murder! Another shot! That man shot. is a killer! Stop him! Mm. 
Where can I hide? Kill him. letter to the harbor master. He let a hairpin slip through their fingers, and someone is not happy. There is a scent on this letter, and a familiar symbol. El Kululu. Looks like the harbor master is part of the order. Marha! These TVs from the east are worth a list of exotic foreign goods seized, most from out of Baghdad. There are Kong's things, vases, and some expensive tea leaves. foreign goods seized, most from out of Baghdad. There are Kong's things, vases and some expensive tea leaves. This should be what Kong needs. The harbor master has set up this blockade for foreign wares, especially for ancient artifacts from the east. There is nothing more here. The harbor master is waiting. Looks like he has gotten himself into a tricky situation. The boy is quite a climber. If you come closer, I will jump!
My name is Basim, and I climbed up here without thinking it through. Do you think you could help me get down? When I was your age, I did all kinds of foolish things to impress my friends. I did not do it for them. I did it for the Hidden Ones. Ah, the Hidden Ones. Not everyone believes in them, but I do. They're the true protectors of the people. They were the ones who avenged my mother. Not the Khalifa or his men. The Hidden Ones did that. I see. And you thought this would get their attention, climbing up here. I heard they can die from great heights and not get hurt. But I cannot do something unless I see someone else do it first. Do you think you could do it if I showed you? Wait up there until I show you how to do it. You simply need to have faith! I am... fine. Give me a second. Are you hurt? No. Nothing broken. You are a fast learner. I told you. I can do anything, if only someone shows me first. That is a valuable talent. Be sure to have a good teacher next time you try something risky like that. You could teach me. <laughs> I am no teacher. I still have much to learn. No, you are a good teacher. You teach by example. Are, are you... Seek me out when your voice begins to break. Then we will talk. <laughs> wow! That was amazing! Come on, Haisem! Before the Muezzin catches us! I am coming!
best I stay hidden. Another wall between the people and power at play. I hope the harbor master is not expecting me. Hey, that's help! Please, I need help here. That way, please, don't let him escape. What do you see? They are vigilant. Let's not go now, Enkidu. Hey, stand back. Hold it there! No business here. Dangerous Enkidu. Hmm. 
Hermanei. Be so lucky next time. Javi, this man. We let the artifact slip through, and he is. Now Enkidu has a clear path. Nothing can hide from us, Enkidu.
Now that they lost the artifact, they have to bid for it at the auction. As you were, the guards will be ever vigilant. looking for you.
Come. Say, uh, who goes there? I have a weapon. Just me. Ah, the little finch returns to the nest. Empty handle? <laughs> it is here. This can help you get your wares out from the harbor. Ha! Huh. I never doubted you for a second. Come, let us enjoy a cup for the memories. I will even make your favorite. What did you find there? Who was behind it? A man by the name of Javid. He was working for someone, looking for an artifact. An exotic hairpin. It is important somehow. I need to find out why. I must. You have changed, little Finch. Or should I just say, Finch? When we last met, you were a street thief. Now, I hope you know what you are searching for. Sometimes, it is best to leave the thorn in, lest you bleed dry. Now, for what was promised to me? An invitation to the auction. It is only given to esteemed guests. Do not ask me where I got it from, unless you want lies. With that scroll, you can get in without having to fit yourself in one of my boxes. <laughs> that was your plan. Men have endured worse to reach their goals. Someone influential is looking for the hairpin, but let it slip. Now the only chance they have is at the Grand Auction. Hmm, nothing else. Roshan and Rebecca will be waiting back at the Bureau. Protocol Hidden One returns. Finally, you found the path back. What do you have for us? The one we are looking for is a Dimiyun, someone out of Baghdad. You are certain? I found proof. They were working with the tax collector and the harbor master. One used the guards to harass and extort coin from the Dimiyun. The other seized goods at the docks. Extortion, I understand. But seizing goods? More objects from these ancient beings they worship. They are looking for a rare hairpin imported from the East Road. It will be up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. An official invitation into the auction. Now, we have a way in. Well done. Our target has to be someone connected to both Al-Anga and Al-Kululu. Someone working closely with the officials. Informers heard whispers of the Khalifa's treasurer. In recent times, they have been quite involved in the businesses of Kah. Someone like that will no doubt make an appearance at the Da'irat al-Mal. We should prepare, so I will scout ahead. Meet me near the souk when you're ready. Not a lot is known about this person. Underestimating your opponent is a fool's folly. Worried? I will tread carefully. Greetings. Welcome, welcome. 
if you can improve this in any way. Take a look. Nothing else? My thanks for your aid. Farewell. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Let us see what you have got. Please, be my guest. Is that all? I will see you later. Farewell, sir. The false dribblings of mad children, perhaps. Mm. Oh, somewhere there, from. Looks a bit like the face on the Then did you wait, The plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin. And we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it, whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wives. And how much more so for fools. Havan Mubatan. Do you think we need luck? There is a rot in Karch, treasurer. Property stolen, merchants extorted, foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin, one up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. I will play the rival for your heart's desire and draw you from the shadows. Find your lodging in our glory for a mere three 
Laya? Should have known you would be here, Kong. Ha! <laughs> you know me. Come, let us chat. I do. do you have any information about the treasurer? Someone who works for the Khilafah? The treasurer? Hmm. I do have something, but... You know, it hurts to give precious information for free. What job do you need doing now? Ha! <laughs> Already know what is on my mind, eh? You see, little Finch. The Dairat Al-Mal is not only an important event for the upper class of Kakh, but also for thieves. Did someone take something of yours again? A precious ceramic saucer. Luca has it. He has always been jealous of me. Ah, where do you think it is? I knew I could rely on you, Little Finch. You should be able to find it in the crates near his stall. Be right back. I assume you heard about the commotion she stole down. This must be the stall Kong mentioned. Now to find that plate.
trust Kong to own a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. Hmm. Suspicious activity on the rooftops. Here, Little Finch delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. Anyway, listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat Al Mal. They made a beautiful rope for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that. Eastern wear. Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the East. Come upstairs and look at my words, ya Sadiqi. Things you've never seen before in Baghdad. Exotic Chinese artifacts. Here only. Nowhere else. Don't be shy. Come closer and be amazed at my selection upstairs. Assalamu alaikum. You mentioned Chinese artifacts. Yes, friend. Welcome, welcome. You will surely find something of interest here. Longing for the exquisite, ya Sadiqi? I have ornaments that hail from the Far East on auction. Rare vases, delicate teacups. But the hairpin is my prize. One of a kind, a beauty even the treasurer asked about. Wait, the hairpin? Where is it? It's going to be up for auction. If you wish to purchase it, make sure to bring a good bag of coin. A hairpin from the East? This must be the item El Kululu was after for the treasurer. I must look out for it at the auction. is not something the treasurer appreciates. Not something we can rush, yes, that The treasurer will not be happy. Neither will I. I know that. The perfume creation is complex. We are already doing our best. Your best is not enough. Come. We talk elsewhere. There are ears in the walls. That woman mentioned the treasurer. 
I should keep my ears close. The treasurer is fond of the Kina, as you know. No one is more unhappy when three dozen bodies go missing. But the hard work holding our supply of production has been slow, yes, I doubt it. Certain incidents there have also made our situation difficult. لا لا لما لا تأخذ ذلك تجدون قيمة أكبر لفضتكم هنا إنني لا أبخص ثمن الأشياء أبدا وأضمن لكم الرزق You are not telling me exactly what it is we are missing The blood, my lady the blood is essential in the scent. It is what makes the Kina perfume special. We must have it. I will talk to the Khalifa. See what we can do. The treasurer will have to wait for her supply. This perfume? On the tax collector's letters? I thought it smelt like iron. Was it blood? This woman could be from the Khalifa's inner circle. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidati. Wa alaykum asalam. I could not help but overhear, Sayyidati, about the perfume. It is not courteous to eavesdrop. Seeing as you are an admirer, you are pardoned. My name is Kabiha, the woman behind the kina. It has a unique scent. Rose, honey, sandalwood. And if you heard, a sliver of blood. Blood? I should have guessed. I had thought it might be iron. Blood is born from iron, is it not? But, because of that detail, it proves difficult to bring in large quantities. If it is so exclusive, it must be popular amongst officials. I think I caught a scent of it near the treasurer. Ning uses the Kina. She is quite taken with its rich mystique, as are many. Curious. You do not look like one who is interested in the art of perfumery. It is unwise to judge someone by how they look. Indeed. Did I not catch your name? Basim. Basim. I must not waste any more of your time. I wish you a wonderful time at the Da'irat al-Mal, ya Sayyidati. So, the treasurer is a she, and her name is Ning. The auction should be starting soon. Assalamualaikum. Yasas. Ni hao. Hello. It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning. To listen to your heart's desire and purchase what God has shown us. It brings me great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat al -Mal. First on our exclusive captivating list of exotic odds and ends, we have a stunning statue from India. Made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans, it will be a perfect addition to any home. Oh, what do we have? One bidder already? No, two. Calling once, twice, 
a third. Would anyone like to best that price? No? So, this piece goes to the lovely lady. Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. So, so what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? One for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning, the treasurer. Two. Any others? Hmm. We have a third there. Hold. Who owns it again? Number three. What will you do? How much do you want this, my friends? Reach into your heart. Listen to your desire. Hmm. No one? Then sold to the handsome bearded man. This hairpin belongs to you now, Sayyid. Now, for the third item. And we thank you once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. May your purses be ever full and your heart ever longing. Did you see her? Her calmness, her grace, like a long, shiny star against a dark night. If only I could speak to her. Move aside. Apologies. My instructions were clear. No brooch, no entry. Do you know who I am? I need to speak to the treasurer. I was called. Summon. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to see the treasurer. On what business? I have a gift for the treasurer. If she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry. Assalamu alaikum. You again? What is it now? I have a gift for the treasurer, if she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry. This is proof that I am of the Merchant's Guild. Look, see? With respect, that does not entitle you to three right. bags of saffron, two of vanilla, and a bottle of honey without a single coin. Impossible! Bah! This is a waste of my time. Hello! Spices for you? Trouble with customers. No more than usual. These people from the Ivory Coin think themselves touched by God himself. The Ivory Coin? I... I should not speak about it. I do not know much, really. Is this enough for some information? Well, it will not hurt to tell you what I know. The Ivory Coin 
is an exclusive merchant's guild. They have a brooch that grants access to certain places. How do you obtain this brooch? I hear only respected merchants are part of the ivory coin, and that you can only be invited by another member. They think their status gives them permission to take goods without coin. <laughs> Have you ever seen such vanity? This is expected in Karch. Thank you. No brooch, no entry. Exclusive union for the merchants of high society. I should have expected this to exist. The Chamber of Antiquities is the treasurer's haven. I need to find a way in. This must be the ivory coin's brooch. Shiny. I have both trinkets. The guard will have to let me in now.
Assalamu alaikum. You again? What is it now? I have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. You may enter. This way, Sayyidi. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, Sayyidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. Speaking about the treasure inappropriately. You may enter. You are a new face. My name is Basim. New to Baghdad, but not to trade. I deal mostly in fine antiques and collectibles. You must have a good eye for detail then. What have you brought me, Basim? You know what I brought. A man not to be toyed with. Come, show it to me. Is it? Ever seen something like this? So perfect. So delicate. No. But I am surprised that you have not. I do have a pension for them. When I was but a child, my sisters and I would tie our hair with sticks, adorn them with stone. I pretended they were the rarest gems. We had nothing, but we felt that we had it all. There are many reasons why people see me. For advice, a taste of power, and most often, to win favor. Why have you come, Basim? As a fellow collector, I have heard much about you from others. Your extravagance, your taste. I wish to learn- Did they say I was lucky? I loathe the word. When I first arrived in Baghdad, I was one of many seeking my fortune. Now, I have even the East wrapped around my fingers. I clawed my way here where many gave up, preferring to spare their nails. But me? I don't mind a few scratches, a bit of blood. Surely there have been connections. The people you met that helped you get to where you are. No matter what others say, you only have yourself. No one else. Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly, Alone.
Return to the Bureau. Dr. Treasurer! She's dead! The guards! Help! There's someone killed the treasurer! Basim, how did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity hushed. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes. Wondering if they are next. The order will not stop here. If they have reached the east, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? It... Uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> 